All right, so today's video is concerning the brother MFC J6415W. Uh, it's the printers that use the LC39s. The LC60, so what do we got, I got the, there you go, there's the number of all the printers, this repair is concerning, the LC3960, 975, I think I might even cover the, um, LC 67s as well. Um, so, yeah, this style of brother, it's a pretty old machine. Um, one of the very early series of brother color printers, and the problem we're fixing on it today is um, the um, Error 73. So I've already fixed this machine for the Error 73 problem. I thought this would make quite a good informational sort of problem. Uh, the problem with Error 73 is related. It says Error, 7, Error 73 unable to clean. Um, so it's unable to clean the print head and uh, make the ink flow. So this problem is related to the fact that this is an old machine and all the grease that was used to construct the machine, the grease has started to lose its, it's starting to dry up and lose, it, lose its uh, lubricating features. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open the cover. So the cover is open. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press the stop exit key. You hold that down for five seconds and that makes the head go to the middle. So unable to clean, error 73 is all to do with this cleaning assembly down here. And in particular, it is, if I can get a screwdriver in, it is to do with this actuating mechanism in here. So this actuating mechanism, you see it's spring loaded down in here. This spring drives the actuator up and down, backwards and forwards. So it's a dual action actuator. You've got the top bit, which gets pushed on by the movement of the head here. So this little bit here goes up and pushes on this bit here. So this actuator also has this bit down here. If we move it, you can see it separates as well. So the big issue you'll find with your Aero 73 is that this unit here is no longer sliding correctly and it's no longer sliding correctly because all the grease that's inside it has dried out and this doesn't move back quickly when it's doing its action. So this is also, I think also used for the loading of the paper. Just can't remember rightly. So all you got to do is, the main issue is, it's, it's not so much this bit here, but it's this bit right inside in here. So if we can get, get in there, pull that, if I can get it, you will see it separates down there. So what you have to do is with one screwdriver, Hold this open.
like so and you just need to squirt into this area in here with a bit of fine machine oil so I like to use a combination of good old Australian export tire shine this is a silicone type oil uh, mega cheap you know five dollars a can from super cheap auto I start off just by squirting a little bit down here uh, try not to hit the the purging mechanism here this is what sucks on the bottom of the print head and drains the ink once we've got a little bit of silicone oil in here um, also put a little bit of silicon oil from the from your uh, tire shine um, along the rail here so this rail is now nice and slippery really quite slippery and it won't dry out because this this uh, oil just doesn't seem to dry so I got all that there slide we want to lubricate a little bit in here we want to lubricate this over here it's just simply a case that the, the grease has just become sticky and nothing moves nice and fluidy so then what we want to do is we want to get just some fine machine oil if I can get it in focus we just want to squirt the oil just in there can I get this in focus So yeah, so right in that section right in there, just right in there, so a little bit of oil in there. And then simply just get a screwdriver and just push the actuator up and down to move the oil around. You can see now this is all springy and it comes back really quite fast. And that's it, the printer should be fixed. You don't even have to pull the printer apart. And it's just simply an old age thing about the lube drying up. So uh, yeah, quick one for today. Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, if you need any printed parts, you can buy them on my website, fixitfastelectronics.com. If this video saves your day and helps you out, you can also send me a tip of any amount it's all greatly appreciated. Thanks.